Okay guys, welcome to the video. Today we're gonna be looking at basic operation of a small servo. And I stress small because you don't wanna do this with a larger servo because it will just draw too much current. You only wanna power very small servos from an Arduino board. This one in particular is a nine gram servo, SG90, very common on eBay. As a matter of fact, I'll put a link in the description down below to these servos. Very inexpensive, very low power draw, very good to learn on. And you can use it for some applications too. But anyway, let's get into this, guys. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this servo to this Arduino board, and then we're going to um, look at a little, little programming on Arduino IDE here. I'll be switching back and forth a little bit. But first, let's look at the servo. So. I have screwed the little servo horn on the top there, this little plastic bar. This would traditionally be hooked up to like uh, little lines that would move control surfaces on an airplane, perhaps, something like that. But anyway, let's look at the wires coming off of the servo. You have three wires. In this case, um, we have brown, red, and orange. In some cases, these colors may be different, or in a lot of cases they are. Uh, the brown might be black, the orange might be yellow, the red is usually going to be red. So, not sure why they chose that color scheme. Uh, and you'll see I do have fe a female end on this connector, um, as I do on these headers on the UNO board. So, I'm going to plug in just regular old jumpers into each one of these slots here. And I have, I have orange and I have red, but what I don't have, I don't have the brown color jumper, so I'm just gonna substitute a black jumper there. So there. These are all connected to the lines on the servo. And now let's go ahead and hook them up. And we're gonna hook them up just like I've written down here. Brown will go to ground. Red will go to plus five volts on the Arduino. Orange goes to you, is your control pin. Uh, in this case, it's gonna be digital pin. We're gonna use digital pin number nine. Okay, but you could use any of the digital pins um, as long as you had, of course, your sketch set up for that. So let's go ahead and zoom in here on the board as we hook it up. All right, so Remember black is gonna be brown in this case, coming off of the servo. That is going to go to the ground. We have two grounds to choose from. I'll plug it in right here. All right, and then red goes to plus five, which is right here. And then we have to go to the other side of the board and we'll find for our orange cable and that is going to number nine, right here all right so we should be hooked up let's go over to our software and I'll tell you what I'll move there we go I have the servo there let me move this piece of paper so we get good contrast and let's look at the code here and this is where I got the code from y'all I just went to the arduino.cc page this is uh, their tutorial on sweep all this program is going to do is sweep the um, sweep the servo back and forth so let's go ahead and we'll copy all this code or I guess you could just click on get code right uh, no, same thing okay so anyway I'll copy that code And then we'll go to our Arduino IDE. Actually, I've already put it here, so I didn't need to do that. And uh, let's take a quick look. So, pound includes servo.h. That's a servo library. All right, and then it's naming a servo, servo my servo. All right, uh, that my servo could be any name. Like if we had several servos we were controlling, we could name each servo differently. Um, and then it's declaring this variable POS or position 
equals zero, which is a variable to store the servo position. Um, and then here's your standard framework. And my servo dot attach nine it declares that my servo is going to be attached to pin nine, which in this case is digital pin nine on the Arduino board. So that all looks good. And then finally we get into this, the main loop of the program that it runs over and over. And we have two four loops. Uh, four position equals zero to one, position less than or equal to 180, position plus equals one. So as long as position is less than or equal to 180, then the position will be incremented by one, okay? Uh, then it'll write the position. So each time it goes through this loop, it's gonna increment your position by one. The servo will turn. That's what this write command does. It turns the servo to that position. And then it'll delay 15 milliseconds to give it time to get to that position. Then it'll start the loop over until it gets to 180. Once it does that, it's allowed to go to the next, next part of the program. And then it goes 180 position greater than or equal to zero position minus decrements by one. And then it writes the position. Same thing. It goes 180 to zero. So let's go ahead and upload this sketch. And let's watch and see what happens on, oh, I guess I need to plug it in, right? All right, we're plugged in. And there's our server. Okay, so let's go ahead and upload the sketch. And if we hooked it up right, we should get that sweep. Now it's going pretty slow, right? Let's go into the sketch. And there's a couple of ways you can speed this up. But instead of incrementing the position by one degree, let's see what happens if we increment by five and de-increment by five or decrement by five and we'll upload that. Way faster and it looks like we're not in front of the camera. There we go. Way faster and then we'll go, let's make this, uh, Let's make, oh, can we do 10? It may not have time with that delay of 15 milliseconds to get there, but we'll try it. If you notice, it doesn't go all the way around. That's because it doesn't have time with that delay of 15. So let's adjust that. And this is fun. Like, even if you don't know how to code yet, you can take an existing program and play around with the variables and see what happens. So look, we're gonna make that 20. Let's see if it is able to swing a little further over. It does, see? I don't think it's got, still got quite time. So let's go to 30 milliseconds now. And that'll give it, that should give it time to do a full 180 and back. But it is slower now, right? because of that delay. So yeah, fun little program here. Um, and it's a good introduction, show you how to hook up your servo. Um, again, I do, wanna, I do wanna tell you that if you're using a small servo, you're good. If you're using a larger servo, don't try and power it directly from the board. It's gonna draw too much current from, from your Uno or your uh, Arduino, and you could potentially uh, cause some problems there. We will take another look at servos using a larger servo and an external power source in another video. So be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.